Hello, my name is Joe Outlaw, professor at Texas A&M University. Welcome to another episode of Farm Policy Minute. Today we have the opportunity to visit with Texas Farm Service Agency specialist and, and uh, pro probably the guy that runs the whole place, Scott Reed. Uh, Scott, what, what exactly is your title? I am the Division Chief of the Commodity Compliance Division at the Texas State Office here in College Station. Great. What we're going to talk to you about today is the fact that sign-up is coming up, and in fact, it is it, when? March 15th is the sign-up deadline for the ARC PLC program. We strongly encourage our producers to contact the county office, make an appointment before the March 15th As a, As a reminder, exactly, as a reminder, this Farm Bill has annual decisions, You're, so the producers are making a one-year decision, and this time, relative to some of the other years, uh, the prices, the commodity prices are very high, and uh, so that what that would mean would be that neither ARC nor PLC are likely to give anybody any protection from the safety net other than maybe a couple of commodities like peanuts where the prices haven't really risen. But we encourage folks to use decision aids to make those decisions. Uh, we have one uh, on our website, the front page of our website at afpc.tmu.edu, and uh, we've had a number of people calling and, and they're already using that decision aid. But what we're finding out is that the sign up is slow because of this whole probably not going to get a payment. Uh, sign up has been a little slower than, than what we need and, and we really need to pe get people into the offices, right? Yes, sir, we do. And, and I would say also with all the uh, planning season starting across the state that producers need to go ahead and make those choices now so that you're not caught up on the March 15th deadline. Go ahead and make your decision. So we've, we've looked at a lot of uh, what-if scenarios for producers across the state, and, and what we're finding is that, again, as I said, probably not much protection from either ARC or PLC, but look at it on your own operation. You run the tools. But one of the things to be thinking about, if you don't want to do that, be thinking about this. Uh, PLC is price loss coverage. That's price protection. Prices for most commodities are substantially higher than that level, so they're not expected to trigger. Whereas ARC is revenue protection, and it is both price and yield uh, protection. And so if you're thinking they might have a combination of maybe prices fall back a little bit, but then yields, maybe you have a pro yield problem, ARC could actually trigger. So across the state, I've been telling producers, look at these things, but but get help they can call us and we will have uh, some of our staff help them it will either run it for them or help them anything they need but but the, the main thing is they need to get in and get this uh, sign up because uh, if you don't sign up you're not going to get anything if something happens correct and i'd also add that if you go ahead and make your choice today and you sign up today and before march 15th you change your mind on what you elect you can always change that election up until march 15th so are, are there any other uh, deadlines or anything like that that are coming up that you'd like to go ahead and get out on this? March 15th for RPLC is the major deadline. Uh, we have some acreage reporting deadlines for small grains in South Texas that will have a February 15th, but majority of the states already done their acreage report deadline for small grains, uh, which was back on January 15th. When, when they come into the office, that's, this ARC PLC decision is not going to take them very long, right? No, sir. It, it, you're just going to come in and sign your ARC PLC contracts. If, if, whenever you call to make your appointment, if you'll go ahead and tell the program technician that you're wanting PLC or ARC County, they can go ahead and have those contracts pre-ran for you. So all you're doing is walking in the door to sign. Yes, and in years past, uh, we have a decision aid for ARC IC as well. Uh, not very many people have used that nationwide, uh, except for cases where there were pre prevented planting, and that's really not the case right now. As we set out and look, we're not, you really don't plan on prevented planting, so uh, there's really no reason to just not get in and get signed up on one of those two plans. Thank you.